Hello Reef DVM's coming at you here with a review of the 3720 on the farm. A lot of people ask what we do with our mid-sized tractor and well we do a lot of things with it. I thought I'd show you some of them today. So this tractor is uh, a couple years old. I want to say it's about a 2007. Um, it's got a bucket system on the front which I ended up putting the universal carrier on instead of the John Deere one. Um, I like those skid steer uh, ability to pick up all the other implements in the yard. It's got a nice interior cab as you can see, uh, maybe a little bit on the small side, but uh, quite manageable. Um, cer certainly got, you know, it's a uh, joystick there for the bucket in the front and it's uh, three points for the back. It's got double door access right or left. It's got a nice steering column with a tilt steering wheel in it. Easy throttle positions, headlights, you know, blinkers, hazards, windshield wipers. You know, the unit uh, starts good, it runs well. Um, see if I get the key out here and see if I get this thing running here. And uh, we'll find out how many hours are on it right now. Uh, let's see here, it's got about 651 hours on it. I think it's about a 2007. It's been a good tractor for us on the farm. Um, little diesel, it, it works really good. These are the kind of tractors that probably can do more than you think you can with them. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, it's quite convenient to use them just because of their size. They fit in so many places. I've got a JVC radio in it, um, and that was put in aftermarket. And then, of course, uh, it's got air conditioning and heat, which is certainly what you need when you're in a cab in the summer out in the field. So here I'll just show you some examples of some things that we do with this little beast. Um, this happens to be a tilled field here in the spring. And uh, we need to put um, some hay seed in it. So uh, we took out the land pride and filled it with about 200 pounds of seed. And, you know, did uh, back and forth all the way across the field in two different directions. And we used the 3720 for it. At this point in time, um, you know, I work with it pretty much all summer long without the bucket. And then when it comes, I can put it back on. Another thing that we do with the 3720 is we take the TR3 drag. We drag the driveways with it. It's perfect. Uh, it takes those five, six foot drags and just easily pulls them up and down uh, the driveway. You know, it's got, what, 37, 38 horses on it. Um, it's got plenty of power. We've got uh, molasses, basically, and the wheels for added weight. Uh, I think uh, the two back wheels are carrying about 60, 70 pounds at least of it in each wheel. So we've probably added, you know, 150 pounds to those wheels and probably another. 25-30 to the front, so going up and down, pulling drags is a piece of cake. This little guy also in the summer is um, a great little tool. My wife likes to use it to move the round bales, especially when I'm out baling. As you can see, she puts a fork on the back end and she just picks these things right up. Um, no problem, the tractor is quite balanced, quite easy to maneuver with a rear fork on it like this. And uh, the bales are pretty easy to get off, you just basically drive and drop and then pull straight out from them. Not, uh, not too hard to do. This little um, jitney there as you can see in the front also has the uh, hookup on it in the summer for the snow plow blade, uh, blower excuse me. That uh, we never do take off, it's just too much of a pain. Then as it gets closer to fall we like to do a lot of tilling with this tractor. We've got the uh, John Deere tiller on it here grinding up some pumpkins and stuff. This happens to be about uh, what? five or six foot, I think it's about five and a half foot tiller, the 665 that's on the back of this little guy right now. And uh, it easily just, you know, can till up the garden and, you know, get it ready for fall for us. So, you know, between that and, you know, getting ready for winter, I, as you can see here, I've got the bucket back on it at this point. Got the six foot bucket on it. Um, I also can take the bucket off and, like I said before, put the blower on the front. Um, I leave the mechanism that houses the drive shaft on all summer long, so I don't have to dink with that. This happens to be right after we finish painting the uh, snow blower for the for the front end of it. This uh, tractor can actually have a snow blower also on the back end of it, or you could run two snow blowers on it. This is a little bit wider snow blower. Uh, I think this one's about six and a half feet. Um, it's a little older machine made by. Um, Oh shucks, I think it's made by Allied. Um, it's a little bit heavier, a little bit klutzier to hook up, but goes right off the back with the PTO and allows you to back into the snow. So between the bucket in the front, 
that I put on sometimes to knock over the snow banks and move some snow up over the top. The blower in the rear end, the blower in the front. Of course, in the summertime, we're picking up bales with the three point with this machine. And of course, you know, in the fall and the spring, we're tilling up gardens with it. And of course, throughout the whole entire summer, we're using it for drags uh, to keep the driveways and stuff in great shape. This tractor uh, gets used a lot. These little mid-range, you know, tractors to compact. They're just, they're ideal for farm work. I mean, I know they can't do quite what the big boys can, but there's so many little things they can do. They can transport the bale wagons, they can help move equipment very easily. Um, you take the quick hitch and put a drawbar on the back of it. You can lift up just about any piece of equipment on the farm and move it around within the barns. As you can see here, it blows snow like a trooper. Uh, there's a front end shot here of this thing. We're going through about two and a half feet of snow and this thing is just bucking it out. Um, it's a nice hydrostatic transmission. Like I said, with that heated cab, just makes it great. This is the 3720, folks. Uh, got about 600 some hours on it. We use this tractor every day. This is a beast on the farm. Appreciate you watching and subscribing. Continue to do so, folks, and we'll put out great videos like this. Thank you.